Hey everyone, this is Gus. Well, what am I gonna do right now? Well, I would have started making some uh, character design. So yeah, let's just start talking about character design. I'm gonna put it here in my uh, my sketchbook. This is some character that I did a long time ago. Yeah, I'm using my iMac, so sometimes it's pretty pretty weird to try to you know to get this thing in the in the screen. So yeah. Uh, this is one of the characters that I design. How can you design characters anyway? Then people said, well, you know, do I have to go to the concept character art school or something like that? Well, um, there's a night classes on Udemy for uh, 10 bucks was the last time. So if you can start doing like uh, hunting for this kind of special, all, all, always on Udemy.com, well, you can find a very good and affordable one. And the other things that is nice is Practice, 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 practice every time that you can do with whatever you have in mind. Uh, for example, I have this sketchbook that I find. Yeah, and I can practice doing another character. This guy is pretty much in, in pencils. So yeah, you can practice. You can do as much as you want to do. See, this is another one. Okay, this is a werewolf, kind of werewolf that I like to do. Yeah. What's uh you know, different pose of this werewolf guy. So yeah, you can do references. What is a reference anyway? Well, a reference is a picture about a design, about a clothes, uh, about a certain kind of custom on a certain age of time. Because if you are designing something that comes out of your mind, it's not 100% out of your mind. Usually is um, like a 20% out of your mind and like 5% or something, well, 20% out of my actually, 5% from your inspiration and 80% from external resources. What is external resources? Google. Yeah, Google. You just go to Google and try to find out what is the best of these uh, clothes, weapons. Uh, well, if you are designing a character, don't try to design everything. Somebody in some place should have a right weapon for your character. Or you can use use this as a reference to construct yours. Uh, for example, a pistol is a pistol, but if you want to put like a, a blade in a pistol and convert it into a sword or some, or some sword like that, well, you can just start uh, doing the same. Just having, you know, the right design or something that you just find on Google. What I'm going to do right now is going to make a character. Yeah, whatever a character that I have in mind, something. Um, Something using my my own, you know, a reference out of my mind and also out of my memory because I'm passionate for the Middle Ages, Middle Ages from the purest from the 1600s to 1500s, and I like Landis next. I like um, you know Hema, historical European martial arts, and I like comics. So it's gonna be a mix of both, and I try to create a character in some sort of a. A dynamic pose or doing something with some sort of its own weapons so yeah for many people will be you know requires a lot of study but for me I already did a study this is already here that that is uh, something uh, that is good if you have it I mean if you have a nice photographic memory many artists we have it so if you have a nice photographic memory for the things you like the most yeah, actually, that is how it works, the photographic memory. So, you can find many resources online and trying to do something. Well, so, let's just start doing something because I don't want to bore you guys. And I know that many of you will catch me later when this is already uh, recorded in YouTube. Right now, I'm streaming. So, yeah, I just find out that it's a very good way to start doing stuff. I mean, streaming while I'm in the internet. The other thing that I cannot do is uh, I'll put in some music here <laughs> because I can't. Well, or I don't know actually. So yeah, this is my Sketchbook Pro. I'm still using my uh, pen display, which is a uh, XP Pen 15.6 uh, HD. And by the way, this video, this transmission actually, it comes to you for this sponsor. Me, <laughs> sorry, yeah. Um, go to my patient, DeviantArt. Go to my patient, yeah. Art. 
artfinder.com. I have my, uh, my, uh, the one that is just right behind me. I have my uh, Cubist uh, queer, um, watercolors and also acrylics. Um, if you want something, yeah, buy it. I would appreciate that to support me that way. I don't have any kind of donate button or from from PayPal yet. I, I'm just thinking, but yeah, oh, I am just a not a regular Joe like you guys. So anyway. Um, I also have uh, my uh, Gus Duenas on Art Station. So yes, this is a sponsor of my this video, myself. So yeah, uh, go there, visit me. I'm Divian Art Gus Duenas, and also uh, on ArtStation.com, Gus Duenas too. And there is uh, an Art Finder store from Gus Duenas too. Yeah, visit me. Do the likes. I uh, will appreciate it. If you don't buy anything, yeah, well, <laughs> I might be great, but anyway. So, yeah, the sponsor part is finished, so let's get to do some kind of, uh, some, some sketching. Yeah, well, I'm going to do my in my XP Pen 15.6 uh, HD, which I bought like uh, last year during uh, Black Friday. So, yeah, I still love it. I'm in love with this little machine. I wish I had more money to buy uh, one of those uh, ultra out of my uh, affordability uh, Wacom Syntax. But yeah, I have, well, until um, I have a day job, I'm a, a graphic designer, a graphic artist for a box manufacturer. So yeah, that's my uh, artistic job. So this is my art. So I hope you, like, you guys like it. So put on likes, um, be part of my channel. I'm gonna start doing these transmissions. I mean, this is streaming so pretty much often. I guess they are way better for me because sometimes I don't have much of the time to try to do the editing. So yeah, thank you for your support and let's go to make some capture. Okay, well, this is the Sketchbook Pro. I'm going to use the, you know, the regular kind of brushes because I have a bunch of these weird brushes that I usually time to time do. So I'm gonna do the, the, the pretty much the sketch part and I'm gonna see how much I have. Oh yeah, this is my sorry, this is my whole surface that I have for, for drawing. So yeah, let's do let's do head some brick cage. Yeah, this is going to be the, the weapon. Yeah. Cranium. Yeah, this is the rules of the trying to do the, the dynamics. Just trying to trace an arc from from here to the to the legs. That is going to be the part of the spine. So this is the curvature of the spine. Let's do a girl. Yeah. Who said that it's bad to fight like a girl? Many girls fight a little better than men. Yeah, I know some girls when I uh, my time when I was in archery. They have an aiming man. I, I mean, they can just put an arrow in that uh, in that target from 60 yards away. Yeah. Way better than many men that I know. So, yeah. Let's do this something. And, and this is pretty much the, the fluidity of the character. You just start it, you know, later to try to put some clothes on it. But this is pretty much the fluidity. So you know this is the size of the of the head. So the size of the head is gonna be the hips and whatever is there. Yeah, this is the hips. Since it's a girl. They have a rib cage, a little small compared with men. Clavicles, this is next. We're just dividing the head into different parts and putting whatever is going to be there. <laughs> Yeah, I made this kind of handle here. I'm 
weird thing that you can use it. Sure, like something in digital you can do. You can always use this. And this is the part when the Just remember something. The, the roundness of the human figure is built by the muscles. It's not built by the skeleton. You know, the skeleton is always like that. See? So this is the ribcage, cranium. Is there a little swimming? Yeah. So let's gonna put like Yeah, this is the way that many guys and this uh, Marvel like to do the the breast, not totally rounded, but also not totally flat. How can you have this? You know this. How can you have this um, specialty and sometimes like a expertise doing human figure? Well, I know I'm not claiming I'm an expert. Uh, there's there's guys that are really expert outside there in YouTube that I just like to see like Brodko and the other guys. By the way, this is not also isn't not also a commercial for those guys. Yeah, but. Uh, If you know a little more in anatomy where the muscles are gonna be and how they work, how they will work, if you put in them in certain situations, you will later know how can make it, you know. Or you can make it into a pose, a dynamic pose, or some, or some sort of this. This is actually some kind of a video blog for me. Is uh, to show a little more about the. I just decided that decided that she's gonna have this some sort of plate here. So, yeah, we are constructing right now the figure, the muscles. Oh, and I ever told you that this little guy has like uh, eighty thousand levels of pressure, which is insane. I, I like it. I like it this much. Yeah, I like these guys. I, I mean, the XP pen guys. I also have a. Uh, that I usually, this is the Dico one. I also have this, the Dico one, that I mainly use it for my uh, for my job, my day job. I mean, my in my in the computer that I have in my office, which is uh, iMac too. Um, many of the people it uses for drawing, like uh, whatever. They use uh, mouses. I pretty much use the the, the pencils. Now, I mean, and another guy we mainly use. Uh, you know pencils because this is the for for us artists this is the most uh, traditional way to work something like drawing 
yeah, I mean, for many people, the drawing is uh, is not as fluidity as it should be. Yeah, this is based on uh, certain Well, for example, what I'm doing right now, why am I doing this? I mean, the helmet first. Well, she she won't have any kind of uh, hair, so I better do the helmet because for me, it's better to have this to know whatever is gonna be the, the anatomy of this. Yeah, so let's do. So this is the part that many many people will stop here. They said, okay, I have the girl, I have the the, the helmet, I have designed a, a, a little whip home, I have uh, many other things. For example, I want the girl to have like a, a sword here. Yeah, uh, she will have a sword. Let's put a swihander, which is, uh, is a term for the two hundred sword, pretty much used in the in fifteen hundred to sixteen hundred uh, to yeah pretty much used to that period of time so if you guys so uh, wait a minute I gotta go Something came out from Amazon. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's my mother-in-law is asking something. I exactly don't know what it is, but uh, well, I'm not gonna edit this part, so yeah, whatever. So well, let's let's continue with this. Well, for many people, this is uh, pretty much the end. They will say, "Yeah, I already have the design. I have this uh, the pose that I want." So yeah, he likes to start doing some uh, so kicking ass features, yeah, unless or you know, unless make our our character a little more sexier or nicer, people will start developing stuff about the character. But if if you go in history, many of the of the weapons for the war, of the, I mean, of the uniforms even, they are not sexier. They were practical. They were designed to protect you. They weren't designed for you to see like you are sexy. They were designed for doing some things that they were, you know, practical at that time. So I'm gonna start trying try to give some more fate of the design, actual design from the uh, armors of the, 15th to 16th century and um, 
trying to keep the sexiness of the of this character. So yeah, this is the first part of the character doing. Yeah. So far we have 20 minutes right now. So wow. Within this in 20 minutes, people said, "Wow, that's a, a awful lot of time." I see many of these paintings done in 20 minutes. Well, it's difficult, you know, drawing and talking to the same time. When you see drawing and talking to the same time, it's pretty much something that was already edited. Uh, of the guy was, uh, you know, doing this on live, and he didn't, he didn't. Um, put a comment in, in front of him so you are not watching the guy so yeah this is what we done and uh, we continue with this so we have a problem here and that means that his hand here is too big and this is not uh, a perspective stuff this let's see she's a girl so she needs less boyish kind of stuff and more so this is the roughest day the roughest day is when you just make whatever is gonna be your your bad day is your uh, definite like a finished state so you can make in your own state whatever the the things you want so yeah this is pretty much the anatomy so let's do some some in the same way but let's do some uniform so yeah we have there this is some kind of gorget a neck protection pretty much used during that time let's do a little more of the breastplate which is not much of the breastplate yeah let's do some sort of armor we haven't designed the armor yet, but just said the armor is this this way. Something that you know about the reference when you go to the reference is that many many of the stuff that you see in the in this fantasy stuff aren't real. I mean yeah they use armor in the in the 1800s they use armor in the uh, i mean the 1600 and yeah they use breastplates and that's some in store but they don't use the stuff the way we are used to let me be more clear we think that the all the stuff they do are like Six year, you know, feed them to your skin. Uh, that's not the case. Y you won't do any kind of armor that way. Not even today that we have the technology to do that, because it's it's not something as practical. See, it's not something that people would consider practical. So yeah, we have this. And they have the armor just covering. Yes, let me show you. If you have the armor from here to here, you have nothing there, because chances are you have nothing in this part, in the internal part of the of the of the arm. And the same with the legs, because, well, for example, the gluteus part, the gluteus, the gluteus. <laughs> I mean, the back is always the, on this on um, uncovered. Because chances are nobody is gonna touch you in that part. But pretty much of the of the hicks will come from the front. 
I mean, from these places. This is where the hits will come against somebody, like the faces, um, back of the neck, but then uh, even the even the even even your back. But nobody will hit you there or there. So there wasn't a you know a need for you to be like a armor in the dark part. Um, it's also if you have an armor that is you know totally surrounded this part like this. Well, it will be like a, a, a little impractical because uh, it will be too heavy. So uh, it is something that you can see in the museums and the, that the knights of the, of the warriors of that period of time, they were regular people like us. They were even leaner. I mean, they were in the big, whole, chunky guys like uh, Conan the Barbarian or like the Rod Dugring uh, or uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, they, they were, or even Sylvester Stallone, they were, they were real, real guys like us. I mean, like me, like you, they were um, leans, they were bigs, they were a little fatty, they were a little chunky. There were so many, see, so many the richness of the diversity of guys and people in this world. And they, in that period of time, they were that, like that, yeah? So uh, it's not like all the guys were like a big chunky guys that, that the guy that comes in the in the Berserk anime, which is huge short. Actually, the swords just weigh something around four to six pounds. That's it. Yeah, two kilos. That's it. Yeah, I practice that sport, so I know what is the supposed to be the regular kind of a uh, 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 weight of the sword. And also they were so very good that they were pretty much balanced in that way that you can just use a sword and put it in in like a, you know in in like this and it will balance like like this pencil perfectly. And I'm talking about a sword. I'm not talking about a, a machete. So yeah, there were gum uh, there were weapons that they actually um, how can I say this? They evolve, evolve in time and evolve with the people. So yeah, let's go back to this design. Yeah, I have right now, and I'm doing just the uh, a little more of this kind of armor for me to know where the armor is gonna be. For example, the parts of the 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 the, the arms. Yeah, this part of the arms. Yeah, and then the, the the one that is nearest to the hands. Usually it was solid, that means it was one of, one piece like this with some kind of belt here, you know, to fit it in, to make it a little more fitter. But um, because, yeah, if you are using a sword or if you are using a, a trebuchet at that time or even a ballista or even a, a crossbow, yeah, you have some sort of movement that could make you a little more uh, you know, prompt to receive an injury in that part. So yeah, that was solid most of the time. But the other parts, they were just like uh, plagues and plagues and plagues were armor plates. So instead of using the, the, the whole complete armor, like in the movies, in the movies many of the armors are made of plastic. So they are pretty much the must. <laughs> Not seriously part of the movie. If you want to see a real armor, go to a museum. Um, live in America. Uh, we don't have some sort of museum, but if you live in the old Europe, yes, you have some sort of museums everywhere. So just go Italy, just go France, just go whatever those places and start watching the collections of armors from the different uh, times. It's from the from the mall to the armor plates. Uh, you will see. You will see. They, they weren't as heavy as the people painting. And uh, whatever they nice, they never, never, never need like a leaf or uh, some sort of polish to put the guys into the, the horses. They can do it by themselves. Yeah, that's a myth too. So the, the 16 pounds or 20 pounds or 40 pounds um, short is a myth. So yeah, let's get back to business. Yeah, let's do some kind of a nice, you know, this put in a little perspective here and yep we have this and 
Let's do the. I was thinking something like, you know, contrary to the people think, and they they use puffy pumps in some purer times. So yes, let's do something like this. Something made out of, let's say it is made out of leather. So anyhow, the girl is pretty much uh, from. Uh, from the future <laughs> or another period of the time, she can use yeah some sort of puffy pumps like the the the, the real people in that time. You know, more fashion is cyclical, it's something that comes and out and uh, yeah like any any anything in the world you know, like uh, so yeah, this is pretty much my design. Let me show you the design how it is. Yeah, this is pretty much the design. This is the idea that just came out of my mind, and uh, I'm just making something that looks pretty much like uh, from that period of time. I'm also making something that looks more modern. Of course, I will start doing just the the inking in the minutes. But this 32 minutes is just this. It's for you to try to set up all the foundations. Let's do a little more of the weapon. Yeah, I not much into the structural kind of the industrial design. But I think it's, this is a canon. This should be something like this. Well, it, it, it uses rays instead of uh, projectiles. So I guess I can bend a little but also physics and do my real canon come from here. And this one, I don't know, could be another thing. Yeah. This is the part with the with the real gun is in the cart. So yeah. So it's pretty much like that. I do the I did the the human anatomy based on one in study. There is a there is around there is very very good uh, books from human anatomy. You can just go to Amazon. And there is some nice books from human anatomy, and a figure that you can do. Also, there's the courses in Udemy. I took one in the school of a character art school, so it was pretty good. And that time when I bought it was for ten bucks, and it was last year. So I just finished, <laughs> and I have my uh, my uh, my certificate from Udemy. So yeah. Uh, yeah, you can. I, I've been doing, you know, this kind of art for a long, long, long time. I mean, since I've been born. But uh, sometimes it's good to have these new concepts to refresh yourself, to know how to make hands, uh, which is the difficult part for me to know how to make noses, and even like a, like a, giving a, like a three quarter of of this kind of a, a structure to the to the to the characters. Because, for example, let's do this. See, this is yes, a guy. You know how I know he's a guy because guys, they have the hips and the sternum same. We have the same. Also, we have the hips smaller. So yeah, if you want to make a guy, he could have the hips a little more small, more leaner, and then you have the the. You first you you write the curvature. So whatever you want the curvature of the pose to be, yeah, yeah. Then you see the cranium. See? 
This is the curvature of the spine. You know where the pics are. This is the pectoral muscles, the pectoral muscles. So whatever is gonna go around this. This is belly. This is the crotch sound. This is the socket where the legs are going. So yeah, you just have this. And for you, for your brain, for you, for us, the, the the right side of brain, this is the, the pretty much the structure we have to find, to follow. Sometimes we bend it a little, okay, we don't have one they, they have here, we just move it a little, we just try to make this fingers look a little better, we move it like this, and we put whatever is going to be here, and we can draw to whatever we have, you know, based on this, the same. But this is pretty much the skeleton of the pose. This is pretty much the skeleton we will use for the anatomy because this is the hand and these are the fingers, whatever. It's easier to make the, the, the guy getting this like a like a spear or getting this like a sword where you don't have to you know draw too many sometimes you have to overlap like do this which is in different plane this these guys are closer to your camera to the eye than than the rest of the body so you have to do sometimes a little more of a of twitch using the the perspective of that things, but there is just nothing that you can not learn about it. There's a bunch of tutorials over the internet and pretty much in YouTube about that. I'm taking some courses also in my uh, in Udemy about about this perspective using two points, three points perspective. So yeah, you can use once you can start using this, it's become natural part of you. For example, I don't do the I, I didn't do it before when I was a kid. Never. And a young guy, I never use this uh, kind of uh, structural concept to try to uh, find out the pose even until recently. So it just becomes a, uh, just became a, like a year ago or something, a structural part, uh, uh, like a, you know, a part of my mindset. This is something that I do the first. Yeah, before in the in the past, I do other things, but. Right now I do this, the first, the first before anything. For some reason, I cannot. Mm, thank you. Yeah, for example, I cannot do this, but the eraser, well, the eraser, I can make it a little bigger. So yeah, this is my eraser. Also, I can do this eraser, but I can, yeah. Yeah, and about the tools that you might have, well, you will have to use if not authentic, at least, if you want to go digital, actually, at least you need to use something like this, a tablet. Yeah, at least you, you, you need to use a tablet. Uh, whatever the brand is, it could be Huion, could be uh, XP Pen, could be uh, UG, could be uh, whatever, whatever the brand is. At least you need to use this because you cannot achieve um, a very, very, a skill, a high skill level using just uh, mouses. Yeah. And also have a bunch of these, I mean, oh, markers, uh, pen and ink. I have pen and ink, I have a Chachikawa pens. So uh, once you have that, you can uh, just start practicing, practicing, practicing a lot and try to build your portfolio. How you make a portfolio? Well, this is going to be part of my portfolio. She is in this pose and probably I will do something like uh, Having the girl, something like having the girl, and um, this kind of pose, like uh, 
you know, something like this, but just showing the goal on the back. That is the butt, but muscles, socket for it. And showing, you know, like she having here the swipe under or something like that. That's gonna be pretty much my uh, my next one. Yeah, see the curvature and the muscles. So you see, you have this. Yeah, and you just want to do some something like this. This is the head. So you just need some something like this. That's gonna be pretty much my uh, my ideas for my uh, for this portfolio, this sketch design, and also I will use something like. Uh, you know, probably the design for the weapon here that could be in, in this place. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the weapon could be here, something like this. The beauty of this is I can just Let's say this is gonna be in a sketch. What is will be my yeah? Let's say this is gonna be the the primary design of the weapon, the one that I. So yeah, put this guy back on the, on the, on the real size. So let me show you what is gonna be pretty much my design of this. Uh, many I will include uh, like a faces, a part of the faces, uh, like part of the faces like here, not the face with some sort of uh, of this. Uh, how did I say? It? This expressions, uh, maybe she's angry, maybe she's happy, maybe she, uh, we can see that she has a really uh, short hair or something like that. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, my design. This is the way I do design. It's pretty much like a, like a, one of this, uh, uh, just one place, this kind of, uh, how you say that? Uh, don't remember if I were talking in Spanish, I will remember. <laughs> yeah, but this is like one of those schematics, so you can just do as much element as you have for the people to see how, how it's gonna look your your character design. Yeah, this is my style. I know that there is a style with the the character should be with the with the with the arms open like a prompt subination form, uh, like it was uh, like it was this kind of uh, like. Uh, or the body in the morgue so yeah I don't like it much but I prefer this part because I can control things and I can show people how she will look in the you know in the movement because for many people they will love to to like they, they will love to see that yeah well my apologies about my English my English is not my mom language my mom language is Spanish <laughs> so yeah well, this is Gus, and uh, well, I'm saying goodbye. Right now, we have over 44 minutes, so it's just long enough for you. And I guess you have enough for me. Last time, next time, I will start, you know, just meeting again. Um, this time, I will do the inking. Um, some, uh, some of the of the faces. We will do first the faces, and then then we'll do the inking for you guys to see how we're going to uh, finish this kind of skate project. So just don't worry, just don't worry if you are not uh, fast enough. I don't think I'm fast enough at all because there is a guy that they can do a sketch in like a 
three to four minutes now. I won't, I won't do that. Well, I don't have that expertise, that's the knowledge of the uh, knowledge base of the programs. So I just gain in this. This is something that you gain in time. You're practicing, practicing now, practice, practice, practice. That's the recipe. So, yeah, guys, this is Gauss, and I'm saying see you. Hasta la vista for the next time. And uh, continue watching the World Cup if you are doing that. Oh, um, well, I know Argentina is out. It's too bad. But still, Colombia is in Brazil. I love Colombia. <laughs> See you guys and have a good day and bless you all.